Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart, you can try launching the game and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. Now to verify the game files, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option under general tab launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this now launch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click select properties and this time type in dash d3 d11 and then launch the game and then check still not working this time you can try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove the launch option and then so it's still not working then you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to turn off nvidia instant replay now if you are using geforce experience in that case you can open if you are using it then open geforce experience Now on the top here you can see open in game overlay option so click on this icon and over here now over here if you see this instant overlay if this is on like this so right now it's on if it is on you can turn this off and once this is off now you can check now still not working you can close simply close the geforce experience next step is to you can skip this step if you are unable to launch the game if you are able to launch the game you can perform these steps now once you launch the game you can leave the game on menu screen for few minutes so just leave the game idle for few minutes on the menu screen it actually compiles shaders which you don't see but still you can leave it uh, for a few minutes and then you can check also turn on vsync to turn on vsync you can go to options and then go to graphics now if this is off you can turn it on turn on the vsync and then check also Turn off FSR. So if you're using FSR, here you can see super sampling under advanced option. Now, if AMD FSR 2 is on over here, then you can set it to maybe try NVIDIA DLSS and set this to quality. And then apply the settings and then check. In my case, I will simply turn it off. Also, go to this option. Now over here, by default this is set to default TA in that case you can switch to FXAA and then you can apply the settings and then check the performance also if this is set to borderless you can try full screen if this is set to full screen you can try borderless you can even switch to window mode and then check now if the resolution is set to like 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then check also the graphics quality like view distance you can, here you can see low medium medium so in your case if this is set to like ultra you can set it to very high or maybe you can try high or you can even go for medium so i've, I've set it to medium low medium low low try to lower down graphics quality and motion blur you can turn it off now apply the settings and then you can check the performance now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to the second tab, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, again make a right click, select properties, and then this time put a check over here which says run this program over here and select windows 8 and then hit apply click on ok 
launch the game and then check still not working again make a right click go to properties and then this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working and then this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then open this crime boss folder and then open binaries win64 you will see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check over here again run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game from here and then check if that does not work again put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working try windows 7 over here hit apply and then click on ok and then try launching the game still not working in that case put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still the game is not launching in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case you can open windows settings and then go to settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder and now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open this crime boss folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open and then now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file now click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add now in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings and then go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed in my case i'm not connected to the internet right now so make sure that you're connected to the internet now once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can try launching the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download click on download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now you can launch the game and then check next step is to delete the config folder to delete the config folder you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open saved games folder and open crime boss folder steam folder saved and over here you will see this config folder this has all the config file so you can go back and then you can just simply delete this config folder but when you delete the config folder you lose all the saved settings so if you agree you can delete this config folder and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working then in that case the next step is to delete the save game files now when you delete the save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so only if you agree you can just delete the save game files to delete the save game files again you have to go to the this pc c drive user your users folder you, your username folder then saved games folder and here you can see crime boss folder make a right click and then delete it once this is deleted you have to start everything from scratch and then you can check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download x86 and then run this exe file Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. You might see install option. So if you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Now download this x64. Again, once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now, again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Once it is complete, you have to restart your computer. So click on restart and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 
So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you're not using. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Also disconnect. Sometimes we have additional extra controller connected. You can disconnect it. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any external, like any third party services or application running, you can close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off. And then also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have like Discord running, you can close it. If you have GeForce Experience running, close it. So close all the overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application, close it and then check. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all and then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update your system BIOS. To update your system BIOS, go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then update your system BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. To uninstall the game, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if you have installed the game to D drive, E drive or any external drive, uninstall the game and then install the game to C drive. Now, if the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.